Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Welcome back to Heart of the Home at Harris Acres. Y'all, you know I love cooking, and you know I love gospel music, and I am so honored today to have one of the best gospel singers in North Georgia and a great fireman. He is a fireman. He has two really good jobs. He gets to sing to folks he likes, and he gets to go out and help folks. I want, you to, I want to introduce you to Eric Chastain, who is from... Blue Ridge, Georgia, or Epworth? Actually, McKaysville. McKaysville. McKaysville, Georgia. McKaysville, Georgia. Yeah. And you're still a young man. He's as young as most <laughs> of my kids, guys. Now, you're about to celebrate the big four, the aren't you? The 27th of Yeah, June. yeah. Yep. You'll be 40. Oh, my goodness. Well, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I know I the guys so. at the fire station are going to be tough on you, aren't they? <laughs> they won't know about it. They won't? They won't I'm going to call, no. <laughs> <I'm gonna> call and tell them. I'm going to call and tell them. Now, you told me that you sing better than you cook. Uh-uh. You do sing better well, than you cook. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, you do. You're, you're a good singer. Now, y'all have been together how long? Uh, the group started in 1997. The Promise Quartet. Yes, Promise, Promise Quartet. Quartet. And I can remember the first time I saw y'all, I was really impressed. I um, I, that. I was, I showed up to see somebody else. A friend of mine was there and, and, um, really good and the other day I just happened to have your CD in my car and I thought well I believe I'll call him so I called and you came and that's that's cool it's an honor to be here and and you are going to be traveling a lot in the near future we're, we're headed in that direction we're, we're trying to do a few more dates than last year and the years before good and uh, so we're, we're looking to expand our horizon a little bit that's great that's great and as a fireman you work 24-hour shifts don't you yes so that gives you a little bit of flexibility as far as the group and then sometimes it's hard on you yeah Actually, our sound man and our bass vocalist, both are firefighters also. Wow. So we have a lot to juggle. So. Wow. That could be tough. That could be tough. That could be like one of those complicated recipes. I don't do complicated <laughs> recipes, guys. And I told you today, I'm going to share a recipe with you that we have done for about 20 years. And sometimes we add and take away little things to it. Sometimes we do it with moose meat. Some we use turkey. We use ground chuck. Today we're using turkey and ground chuck combination. This is a Tex-Mex casserole, and um, the recipe is one of the things you can use it as a salad, make a big huge taco salad out of it, or you can use it as a dip. And I thought with the fireman it would be good. Y'all could have this sitting around the firehouse and just dip your big scoops of Fritos or whatever in it, and it's something that's easy to make and relatively inexpensive and simple. And remember, I'm a little simple-minded. It's about the simple things. Don't do anything complicated because I'll forget how to do it. But this recipe is ground turkey and ground chuck combined. We have fried that and then you use several cheeses, salsa, sour cream, and serve it over a bed of lettuce and tomato. That sounds great. It's good. It's good. And you can do it as a dip or you can use it as a main course. And uh, you and I are going to assemble this, and we're going to cook it, and we're going to talk a little bit about Now, you sing baritone? Is no, that... actually, I'm a tenor singer. Tenor singer. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Who sings baritone? Baritone uh, vocalist is Curtis Underwood. Okay. And I met him. Yeah, he. I, I met him down at the church one day at Refuge Baptist Church. Yes. Yeah, And yeah. I think, actually, the first time we met you, was we sang with the Florida boys. That's right. In, in That's Pickens right. County, in so. Jasper. That's exactly right, down at the school. And uh, as a matter of fact, I saw that the other night on TV. They played a, a rerun of that, and uh, I was impressed. I was impressed, and I love, what's that guy's name that dresses so cool that's with y'all? What's his name? Well, that could be. The pharmacist? That could be Chris Patterson. Man, he's a good dresser. <laughs> he is a, he, he's gutsy, and I yeah. like men that have guts about dressing. He, he is a cool dresser. Does his wife pick his clothes out? I would say yes to that. I would say yes to that. That was a smart answer. <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was impressed with him, and uh, and he's he's really upbeat. Of course, all y'all are, and you know, that's what gospel music is about. Make people feel good. That's Make right. them feel good. And and I said there are some gospel songs that are so sad, and I sit there and I cry. And then there are some songs that make you feel like a million dollars. And um, what is that when y'all do about get on board? I think that's Come On, Let's Go to That Land. Yes, that is an awesome song. Thank you. That is an awesome song, and it does make you feel good. Now, we're going to feature some of your music today, and um, tell me some of the songs that you'll be featured on. Uh, maybe uh, we're, we're looking at possibly doing He's Alive, mm -hmm. and that was written by uh, Ernie Dawson, who sings and owns the group Airline, and he and I became friends in the last year, and uh, just really love the song and it's, it blesses people and that's the kind of music that we like to sing. That's right, that's right. And, and I said honestly, um, I can remember the day I was saved 
old rugged cross, four verses of it. I never forgot it. There are days in your life that a song will do more for you than anything. That's right. And, and honestly, um, our pastor makes fun of me because sometimes I'll say, I think we need a little old rugged cross. And the next Sunday I'll show up and we'll be singing it. So that song, a song does put a good feeling in your heart, doesn't it? It does. And I it do really like does. the old songs because oh, that's what I was raised on. Oh, man. And it and brings back a lot of good memories. Well, well, we go to church at Crossroads Baptist Church in Lawrenceville, Georgia. And the reason I drive that far is because of the music, because I love the good old gospel music. And to me, that, that's a big part of my religion. And um, when I showed up and saw y'all the first night, I was sitting there and I was just tapping my toe, you know, and I thought, hmm, this, this is feel-good music. And, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So y'all keep doing it and keep traveling, but but now don't go too far from home. Yeah. Don't go too far from home. We don't want to leave. We don't want you to become big and successful. We don't want to do that. Now this recipe we talked about, this is ground turkey and ground chuck. And to this, we're going to add some salsa. Now do you like spicy stuff or you like mild? Mild. Mild. Okay, this is medium, so it's not too bad. But um, my kids like medium, so we usually buy medium. And we've had this for years and years and years. The grandkids like it and it's something that's easy to do and you can take it with you and uh, actually heat it up in the microwave. I do it, I take this to work a lot of days and it's something you can share with folks and uh, not hard to make. How many would this feed? I think this, if you did a meal out of this, it'd probably feed about nine. Okay. Because you serve it over a bed of lettuce with uh, diced tomatoes or if you do it, we were talking about doing it as a dip for you and the firefighters, you know, 10 or 15 guys could use this because you use it with a little dip and scoops. Now we're gonna, our first layer, we've put salsa on top of the meat. We're gonna put Parmesan cheese. And I use several different cheeses on this. And we're gonna assemble this and then I'm gonna have Eric throw it in the oven for me. And then it's gonna be hot and bubbly. And we are gonna enjoy this. Now this has got sour cream. So it has a lot of different taste. It's got sour cream, so it's got calcium. It's got the tomatoes, which are good antioxidants. Do you eat good? I do. I do enjoy eating. Yeah, and, and <laughs> who cooks at the firehouse? Do you have a certain cook? We have several. Y'all take turns? Yeah, each truck's out and gone all the time, so somebody's got to be cooking. Really? Okay. Now, when we come back, guys, we're going to be talking to Eric a little bit more about music. We're going to stick this in the oven. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to share this good recipe with you, and we're going to share a little bit of his music with you. Don't go far now. folks, we're back. My guest today is Eric Chastain, who is a firefighter for a living and a gospel singer for fun and pleasure. Today, he's going to be my sidekick, and we're going to make dish pan cookies. Now, Eric, are we going to use this dish pan? I think we are. We might, and we might not. We might go with my big old Tupperware bowl. I love my antique dish pan. Have you ever had dish pan hands? I have. Oh, God, that's a good man. <laughs> that is a good man. We have to wash a lot at work. At the fire Do department. you? Yeah. Well, that is cool. See, I would want to be the cook, and I would want backup help to clean. Yeah. See, I like having that backup help. We that, would like to have you down there Yes, cooking. that support group. Oh, and that would be fun. <laughs> well, I love my dish pan. This belonged to uh, Miss Kirk, and um, I just absolutely love my dish pan. Now, you can hang on to that, and we are going to make our cookies in the our big, huge Tupperware bowl, guys. Now, these are called dish pan cookies. And it's a large recipe, and I thought, why not? Because you've got a bunch of guys to feed. So I think this is going to be easy. Now, the ingredients are two cups of oil, two cups brown sugar, two cups white sugar, two teaspoons vanilla, four eggs, four cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon salt, four cups of corn flakes, one and a quarter cups of oats, one cup coconut, one cup dates, and one cup chopped nuts. This sounds pretty good. Sounds rich and filling, too. Yep. Now, we're going to assemble this. Looks like it's going to be quick because our prep work's been done for us. I like that, don't you? Now, we're going to add our oil, our sugars. You want to put our sugars in, Eric? Okay. There you go. And we've got white sugar, powdered sugar, and brown sugar. And then we have our vanilla. And... Do you know what this is? Are you old enough to know what jewel tea like dishes are? Well, it's a little, um, I'm not sure if it's a, a 
dessert dish, a custard cup, I think is what it's called. But this is part of my Jewel Tea collection from when I was a child. My grandmother had that, and I always remember that. Do you have good memories of your grandmother's kitchen? I do. That's oh, what man. the tan reminded me of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something about that. Now, guys, we're adding our eggs, our sugar, vanilla, and oil. And we're going to blend this, and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. I've never made these before, but they were in a cookbook that my daughter brought me home from Alaska. And it looked interesting, and it looked like a large recipe. And now, how many guys do y'all feed? About 15. 15. Shift, yeah. Okay, wow. That's a lot of people. Now, which fire station do you work out of? Uh, DeKalb County, Georgia, which is near uh, Stone Mountain Park. Oh, Parkston okay. Area. Well, we have a brother that lives down there not too far from you. He lives over near Smoke Rise. Is that okay. your area? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just, just a few miles outside the area we protect. Okay. And um, traffic in Atlanta in a fire Terrible. truck has got to be so <laughs> much fun. <laughs> don't you know that is fun? That's, that's one of the fun things. Oh, drive man. The call. How long have you been down there? Uh, 1989. Wow, wow. And you left this area looking for fame and fortune? Just trying to make a living to support yeah. the family. Right. That's a long drive. but. Yeah. Um, you've been there long enough now. When can you retire? Uh, 30 years is full retirement, so I've got about 11 and a half there. Okay, that's not too bad. No, but too the bad. traffic's getting worse every day, yeah, isn't it? Is. Yeah. Okay, now the uh, next ingredients for this, we are going to add our flour. And here we go. Ooh. This looks good and smells good. Now, dates, a lot of people don't like dates, but they were in the recipe and we're going to use it. Do you like dates? Yeah, I yeah, do, I do good. like fruit. So. Mother used to do dates with cream cheese all the time, and uh, I liked them. Some people don't, so if you don't like the dates, leave them out of the recipe. And if you're like me, if you'll gamble, go ahead and throw them in there. This is going to make a lot of cookies, I have a feeling. You know, it didn't say the yield amount on this. They may think we're cooking for a mining area in Alaska. What do you think? <laughs> you want to stir that up a little bit, and I'm okay. going to start adding more ingredients. We're going to add oats. This is a cup and a quarter of oats. This has got a lot of the food groups in it. It'll either be real good for you or real bad for you. <laughs> we'll, we'll take either one. <laughs> yeah, we could go either way with this one, couldn't we? It takes a little on power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got eggs and brown sugar and white sugar. Those dates look good. And I like coconut. Now that's one thing. Um, some people don't like coconut, but boy, I love coconut. That's looking good. We're gonna add the cornflakes the last. Now we're gonna add, these are our pecans, our dates, and our coconut. Mmm, that's looking good. Now we'll have cookies and a Tex-Mex casserole. Sounds to me like we're gonna have a fairly decent dinner. I think this could feed 15 firemen. <laughs> I think so, I think so. I think so, it's gonna make a lot of cookies, isn't it? There's your cornflakes, that's your last ingredient. It really doesn't say how many it yields, but I, I have a feeling this is going to feed a lot of young men. How's it going? This is tough. <laughs> I know cooking that's was why, so hard. <laughs> that's why I got you here, little man. <laughs> you no know, cornflakes are that stout. That's all right. Oh, after all that equipment you haul in and out <laughs> of those fires, don't you wuss out on me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, you have to go through how much training to be a firefighter? To be a firefighter is about six to eight months. Wow. And we do have to be EMTs or paramedics. Really? That's another almost uh, 12 months. Wow. So it's not like you could just go get a job. You really have to have training. You so. do. And that's a good thing. You know, this week in Jasper, they had a training exercise. Were y'all involved in that? No. They had a lot of groups from Atlanta up here, and um, they, they did a learning um, training experience all day. And uh, it was pretty cool. Now, those look like they're about ready to put on this cookie sheet. What do you think about that? They look good. Well, they'll be either really good or really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're gonna be good. They're gonna be bad for us, maybe. Because they look like they are full of goodies. Wow, wow. I don't know that I've had a bad cookie. Uh-uh, no, no. 
Now, while these things are cooking, we are gonna take our um, Tex-Mex casserole out and these. Stay tuned, guys, we'll be right back. Hi, folks, we're back. Boy, I've had a great guest today, and it's been so much fun. We've made some really good cookies, dish pan cookies, and one of my favorites, Tex-Mex casserole. Now, Eric is over here watching the stove, and I think that Tex-Mex casserole is about to come out, and we're gonna share that with you. We wish you were here with us. As a matter of fact, you may get to be, because in the near future, we're gonna have some live shows. We want you to um, try this recipe, and are you gonna try this when you get back to the firehouse? You gonna share this recipe? Yeah, I think I'll share it with you. I think you should. I think you should. Now we're gonna do it as a meal, guys, and remember I said you could use it as a salad. You can uh, have your little bed of lettuce, and then just cover it. Ooh, that smells good. And it's hot. And I've learned if it looks hot, and it, it probably is hot. <laughs> So we're going to do this and garnish it with some tomatoes and then serve it with our chips on the side and then you can dip yourself some up and put it in the bowl to try it just with the chips. Okay. Some people like it as a meal, some people like it as an appetizer. Now while we're talking about gospel music, I want you to tell folks how they can get in touch with your group. If you have access to an internet, you can reach us at promisequartet.com. And for those who don't have access to a computer, you can just call us the old conventional way at 706-492-5832, uh, and that'll get our, uh, our booking agent. Good, good. And um, you travel what distances? How far will y'all go? We've always just put it basically, we travel where the Lord opens doors. That's That's a, that doing. is a great attitude. That is a great attitude. I have a sign in my house that says, those that walk with God always reach their destination. And you and I both know that's the truth. That's right. the truth. That is the truth. Now, this recipe will be on our website. And um, again, we update weekly. So if you forget some of the ingredients when you get back to the firehouse, all you have to do is look on the website. Now tell them again how to reach you. Give them your phone number again. 706-492-5832 uh, or promisequartet.com. Promisequartet.com. And they can keep up with where you'll be. Right. Okay. And, and guys, there. they're worth traveling to see. Thank you very much. They're worth traveling to see. Now y'all will be in Fannin County in the near future. Yes. July the 14th is uh, Singing in the Mountains. We have that every summer. And about a thousand people show up. Oh, we'll that have, is, it's an awesome, yeah. awesome day of entertainment. Several groups will be there, uh, a large 90 member choir, a uh, live band, and it's free admission. Uh -huh. So we want everybody to come out who can and support that in Blue Ridge, Georgia. That's right. And, and Blue Ridge is such a beautiful place to visit. It is. And if you're up there, go down on the square and visit some of the shops. And if you mm -hmm. go through LJ, stop at My Buddy Corks and Crumbs and visit them. Between LJ and Blue Ridge, people could spend the day traveling and right. visiting and then come here, y'all sing. Now, what time does it start? It starts at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. It's at the Fannin County Performing Arts Center. Okay. And goes for two or three hours, is that right? About two hours. Okay. All the, all the, we do receive a, a love offering that goes to the Fannin Christian Learning Center. Oh, awesome. So. That, that is an awesome way to share yourself. And yeah. uh, guys, if you get a chance, please keep up with where the Promise Quartet will be. And you know, every week on Heart of the Home, I'm going to be featuring gospel music. I love gospel music. We'll be back at Harris Farm. We'll be here at the new house. And we will try to provide you some good music to hear. And we'll introduce you to some good singers because North Georgia is full of them. You yeah. know, do you know what's Jonathan that sings with the Carolina Crossman? I do. Uh, he's from Blue Ridge, Georgia. He is. So um, Blue Ridge is full of a lot of talent, and, uh, and it's God-given talent. Right. And, and y'all use it to that, and uh, it's a wonderful thing. So this is the kind of thing you can make it, take it to the go-kart track like I do, or take it to a Super Bowl party. You know, it's just something you can grab and go with it. Easy to make, easy to assemble. You can teach your teenagers to make this one, guys. It is really, really simple, and it's really good. So tune in to Simple Simple Recipes Weekly. We're not going to teach you anything hard. Remember, I'm too simple-minded for that. So we're going to share cookies. Is it time for the cookies to come out of the I'd oven? Say it is. I think it is. It said 10 to 14 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just about time I smell them. Oh, man, they smell great. Wow. Eric, they look good enough to eat, son. Now, it says you have to let them cool before you take them off the pan. So maybe we can just set them aside and let them cool, but they look great. Now, have you gotten burned today while we were cooking? Not yet. Not yet. That's a good thing. <laughs> I'd hate 
afraid to send you back to work at the firehouse with two or three burns on you. I know it. I that did. would not be good. That would not be good. No, no, no. Well, you've learned some quick and easy recipes, and I've had it's been great having you here. Thank you, Patty. That's been wonderful. And I do hope that your group does travel a little bit more because folks need to see you and hear you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's one of those things, it's a treat, and once you see them, you'll want to see them again. Now, your CDs are available on your website? Yes. Good. And have you, how many have you got? One or two? I think I've uh, got two of them. We've actually just signed with Lamp Music. We're fixing to start a new one. But oh. We've got four to offer right now. Wow. Great. Great. I think I only have two of those. Maybe you'll put me one in the mail. I'll take care of you. That would be good. <laughs> that would be a good thing. And if you, you don't have a DVD out, do you? Uh, no, we do have one that we recorded through ETC with okay. the Florida Boys, so we do have that one. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing. And is that available for sale, too? Cool. Okay. And what's the price of that? At $10. $10. Yeah. It's a great $10 investment, folks. I, I guarantee you it's worth $10. It's worth $20, Eric. <laughs> Somebody needs to be your business manager. You need to get more money. You'd be a good one. <laughs> I could do it. I could do it. I love hearing you sing. I Thank could you. sell this boy. Guys, it's been fun today. I have enjoyed his visit. I've enjoyed, I'm going to enjoy his music, and you are too. Remember, check his website out and follow our local musicians and follow these simple recipes I'm going to keep giving you. You know they'll be simple, you know they'll be fun, and you know I'll be back every week on Heart of the Home. We'll either be at the farm or we'll be at the new house or we'll be traveling again, guys, because you know Heart of the Home has gone on the road a few times. We've done Alaska, we've done Butts Mill Farm, we've done the river in Bryson City, which happens to be one of my favorite places. Check out our website and watch those visits because I can show you, I can cook in anything but a tent. I cannot cook in a tent. But I promise you, every week we will update and we will keep you up on what's hot and what's not. Take care, guys. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Folks, I've enjoyed coming into your home. I love you coming into mine. Come back to Harris Farm often. Come back to Harris Acres. I welcome you. Now, I welcome you to enjoy some of my favorite gospel music. You know I love gospel music. I love cooking and I love gospel music. I want you to sit back and enjoy one of my favorite songs, maybe two of my favorite songs. I think you're going to like this. Sit back and enjoy. And please give them a hearty welcome, the Promise Quartet. Go to that land. Come on, let's go to that land. Where milk, where milk and, and honey flow. flow. Come on, come on, oh, come on, come on. It's a better, it's a better land I know. Well, abounding, abounding hearts will make us start. We're trusting, we're trusting in, in our God. So come on, come on, oh, come on, come on. All aboard, all aboard. Let's go well, to that land. It's a better land I know. Abounding, abounding hearts will make us start. We're trusting, we're trusting in, in our God. God. So come on, come on, so come on, come on. All aboard, all aboard. Let's go to that land. There will be no tears of sorrow, no more trouble in that land. All aboard. For every day will be Sunday, and that city's so bright and fair. Well, we'll walk with all of the angels all around. Oh. It's a better land I know. Well, abounding, abounding hearts will make us start. We're trusting. We're trusting in, in our God. God. So come on. Come on. So come on. Come on. All aboard. All aboard. Let's go. Let's go. All aboard. Where milk and honey flow. All aboard. It's a better land let's I go. know. Shout praise his name every day. But we'll be the same. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.